Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys how to get motivated to achieve your fitness goals. So whether it be the gym or a fitness class or a marathon or whatever fitness thing you're working on, tips and tricks how to get motivated to get your butt there and to actually do it. So without further ado, let's dive into this video. Be sure to give me a thumbs up, you guys, and don't forget to subscribe down below if you're new here and you don't want to miss any videos with me. My tip number one for you guys is starting the day out right. So it's really, really, really easy to like go through your day and just be like, eh, I'll get to the gym, I'll get there, and just pretend like, yeah, it's going to happen today. Well, usually it doesn't. So my first tip for you guys is wake up starting the day and thinking, okay, I'm gonna go to work, I'm gonna get my day done, and then I'm going to the gym. So commit to going to the gym and making it a routine of your day and make sure that you're actually gonna go. Because if you just go through the day and just whatever, it's like over there in the back of your mind, then you're probably not gonna go. So make it a set plan that no matter what, no matter what happens in the day, you're gonna go to the gym. Because I know that I sit at work and I'm like, Oh, I'm tired today, or oh, my head's aching, or la la la. But it stops me from going to the gym because I'm like, meh, I didn't wake up thinking I was going to the gym. I just woke up saying, I'll see how I feel. So make it a priority and make it part of your daily plan that you're going to the gym and that it is instantaneous. You wake up and it's like, the gym is happening. It will be part of this day. So that is tip number one. So tip number two is making sure that you plan out your workout. So it's really easy to get to the gym and be like, yeah, I was planning on doing this, but like maybe I'll just do this and this instead of this, 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 and this. So making a plan for your gym routine. So this might look something like doing an upper body day or a lower body day or working on chest and back or arms and abs or legs and thighs and butts and yada, yada. You get the picture. But making a plan of what part of your body you're going to be working on is one step. And then also is accounting, figuring out exactly which routines and which workouts you're going to do. So you don't have to plan this like to a T, but I try to pick like three to five of like, say if I'm doing shoulders, three to five different shoulder exercises or strengthening things or weights or whatever to incorporate into my workout. So I plan to actually have those three to five things that I'm for sure doing. And then sometimes I kind of just switch things up when I'm there. But if you go into the gym and you have no plan of what workout routine you're gonna do or what thing you're doing, you're probably gonna fail and you're probably gonna get lazy and you're probably gonna be like, blah, when you get there. So if you set out, some people like carry like a notepad, like I think people with like notepads in the gym. If that works for you, then use a notepad. For me, I just kind of keep everything in my brain and I use that as a tool to get my workouts done and I know exactly which workouts I'm planning on doing, depending on what I'm targeting throughout uh, the workout. And also, if you're having a hard time struggling on ideas on what to do for your workout, watch YouTubers, look up ideas on the internet. There's lots of amazing resources and amazing YouTubers that I follow that I get all my inspiration from. So just watch their videos and then make a plan of like, okay, I'm going to do that person's exact workout and write it all down or I'm going to do this thing and their thing and mix it up with between like what I normally do and add something new. So going in with a plan is going to make you way more successful at the gym and make you feel less like overwhelmed when you're there because it's easy to get there and just be like, oh, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I don't know how I'm going to get through this day or get through this workout. Like making a plan to do that is so key. And then on top of having a plan of what workouts you're doing, try and figure out what rep routine and how many sets you're going to be doing. So some people do like three sets of 10, three sets of 15, uh, four sets of 10, four sets of eight. Um, some do like one set of 15 and then one set of a higher weight at eight reps. So like mixing it up and changing it will give you a different result. Um, and having a plan of what you're kind of doing when you go into the gym. Instead of doing the exact same routine, the exact same thing, if you just do the exact same thing, you're never going to see any success or change in your body if you're trying to reach a goal like that. So switching things up, having a plan so you know exactly how many reps you have to get through and how much you have to actually complete at the gym. So that's my tip number two. Tip number three, I call the pep talk. So pep talking yourself to get to the gym. So as you're driving to the gym or walking to the gym or busing to the gym, make it a part of your journey there that you pep talk and talk to yourself because 
amping yourself up and getting fired up and getting excited is going to make you more excited for your workout. So I know it's really hard for me. This is probably like the hardest part of my entire workout is getting to the gym. I drive there and I'm like, Ugh, I'm tired. Oh, I'm this. Oh, I'm that. And I make all these excuses in my head of why I shouldn't go to the gym. But I have to pep, my, pep talk myself and basically be like, you're going to have a good workout. It's only one hour of your day. Like literally one hour. Spend 45 minutes to an hour. And even if you're newer to the gym and you're newer to working out, only do like 30 to 45 minutes. But one hour of going to the gym is not going to kill you. And you just have to look at it as like it's one hour of your day that, yeah, you're losing that hour, but you're putting it towards your health and your happiness and your physical health and your love for your body and your de-stressing. All of these amazing things of why you're going, you have to channel that energy to get you through that one hour of pain versus the pleasure of just sitting on the couch and watching Netflix because that would be way easier, wouldn't it? Our brains tell us that working out is painful and that we're going to suffer and it's easier because as human nature we're super lazy and we would just rather take the easy road than take the painful road. So it's like pain versus pleasure. It's like you're going to get more out of going down the painful road in the end than you will if you just take the pleasure route and end up sitting on the couch for an hour. So make that choice that one hour is not going to hurt you and that it will fly by in no time and by the time you're done you'll be like, oh, I feel great. So that is tip number three. All right, tip number four and the final and probably most important tip is figuring out your why and figuring out why you're doing the gym or the workout routine that you're doing or why, like what is the purpose? Everyone has a why, everyone has a reason for doing something. You're not just going to the gym just because you want to kill time. You probably have some kind of goal, some kind of accomplishment, some kind of de-stressor you want to work on or an injury you want to work on or getting more fit or being healthier internally or getting abs or running a marathon or doing a fitness competition. Like there's so many reasons that people go to the gym and they go to work out. So everyone has a purpose and a why of what's driving them to that place. Figuring out what that is. And even if you don't know what it is, that's okay. You don't have to know your why right away. Um, this is something I'm probably going to do another video on talking about your why. So if you guys want to see that, definitely give me a thumbs up. Let me know. Um, but tapping into that why and trying to figure out why you're doing what you're doing because everyone has goals and passions and dreams of like something to do with what they're working on. Everyone has a vision of what they want out of an, what outcome they want out of the goal that they're doing. So tapping into that and finding that and getting excited about the reason why you're going to the gym and why you're working on your health because that will drive you through the workout. If you just go willy-nilly and go whatever I should just be here because everybody else wants me to be here and I should be here working on my health and like if your why and your drive is not big enough at the gym you're never going to succeed at doing any goal that you have because if you just force yourself to go when you don't really want to go it's not the right workout for you and that's okay it doesn't have to be the right thing for you so tapping into that why tapping into why you're driven to do this and why you're trying to accomplish this so that is my final tip for you guys. Basically at the end of the day, in total recap, is make the gym a part of your day. Commit to that. Pep talk yourself that it's only one hour of the entire day. Make a plan to get you through the workouts. So you don't get lazy and complacent at the gym. And finally, just making sure that you know why you're doing this and that you're excited about the journey that this could take you on. So those are my tips and tricks on how to get motivated at the gym and how to succeed in getting through your workout and making it a lot easier instead of feeling so stressed out and like, ugh, about the gym. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Comment down below if you guys have any other tips and tricks on how to motivate yourself at the gym. And don't forget to, of course, subscribe down below and carry on this journey with me of health and fitness and essential oils and healthy living. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.